Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create these awareness ribbons using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.7.3. Good, before we start, we need to create a new document. And for that, we go to our uh, file, we click in new. I'm going to use my usual 1920 by 1080 at 300 dpi, but you can use any dimensions that you want and you can leave all the rest as it is. Just only remember to um, untick the transparent background. So let's give it OK and perfect. There we have our new document. And before we continue, make sure that you have the same settings or close to the same settings that I got. The most important things are make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. Perfect. With that out of, out of the way, let's get started. To create the ribbons in this uh, with this shape, we are going to start using this uh, tool, uh, the tier tool. I'm going to click and drag to create something more or less like this. Then I'm going to select it to um, swap it around, basically transform um, vertically or flip vertically. And the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit down there. So you have that round kind of way like this. Perfect. And uh, maybe I can do it a little bit there, something like that. Fantastic. Now we are going to use this one several times and everything is going to come up from this shape. So I'm going to first this one, uh, let's make it something like this. So then it's just only using the hue, you can just change the different color. So let's click in there and hit command J and again and again and again. I think it, that is more than enough. So let's start changing colors from the bottom one. Let's put something like that. This is just only for us for later on to be able to see which one are we are, we are using um because yeah we need them for different things okay uh, no let me give it a rather bluish something like that perfect fantastic so now the first thing that we are going to do is if you see is this part of the of the ribbon there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click in this one and I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to move it down something like that and then hold shift and drag it down to make something I think it's something like that will be fine I'm going to select these two and then you go to geometry and you subtract so now we have that part at the top now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to he hit shift or hold shift click and drag from there so these are going to be the part of the ribbons so basically it's this side of the ribbons so once i got that one i'm going to move this one up basically and i'm going to move it down a little bit something like that i think is fine and I'm going to click this one and this one and I'm going to geometry and subtract. Now that we have that, I'm going to take this one or the last one, sorry, and I'm going to flip it uh, vertically. Sorry, before that, let me undo. Let's make another copy of this one. And I'm going to change that one, the color, something there. And now I'm going to flip it and I'm going to move it down basically up to the point where this one this one these two meet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to create a copy and now with that one at top this one and I'm going to choose intersect so now I got those uh, 
parts there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle something big something like this and I'm going to put it somewhere there and then I'm going to make a snap in the middle make sure that is right in the in the middle there and with that I'm going to create another one as well now that we got it there and I'm going to click on that one and then on this part at, at the bottom and I'm going to subtract and then I'm going to click on this one click on the rectangle and subtract and then I'm going to take these two this one and this one and I'm going to create just only one now this one that we have there that tier we can delete it so now this one I'm going to create another copy and I'm going to flip it and flip it back again and I'm going to put them together something like this make sure that everything is aligned by the way so let's make it something there I'm going to click both of them and I'm going to okay it didn't uh, okay maybe uh, maybe this one we need to make it a little bit in there I think there is perfect let's choose both and let's make it one so now I'm going to uh, open up there we go I'm going to select these and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these ones in the middle and I'm going to click and delete now that we have that that one there what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and make another copy perfect now I'm going to flip it horizontally there we go and now what I'm going to do is we need to create the the cuts in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle make sure that it's big enough hold a second let me start all over uh, hit and hold command shift and click and drag and let's make a square okay let me put it at the back and I'm going to actually hold shift and rotate so 45 degrees so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to convert it into uh, curves and I'm coming here and I'm going to make sure you see this line here needs to be more or less parallel to the line of this one or sorry of this one and obviously it's going to be parallel to the other one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one and move it down a little bit until more or less uh, you can eye eyeball it is fine and now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to move it up somewhere there because there is where we do the the cut and I'm going to create another copy of this there we go so I'm going to select this one remember now uh, this part of the ribbon needs to be on top of the green side because now I'm going to use intersect and I'm going to do the same with the other one intersect now that we have this for some reason they are not exactly the same okay there we go needs to be perfectly aligned okay right in the middle so now let's create another one and now there we go so this one and this one uh, intersect and then this one and this one and intersect so now that we have those two what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to select these two come here to your contextual toolbar on transform and I'm going to hold shift click and rotate let's make it 15 degrees and I'm going to do the same for this one to the other side now I'm going to click and drag and select everything and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select let's give it another color to everything something like this and let's make it somewhere there I think that is fine so now I'm going to click on this one come in here uh, and I'm going to make it a uh, darker something like that and I'm going to take th this side and I'm going to make it a little bit darker as well not too much needs to be some difference and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on this uh, this side of the of the ribbon and I'm going to move it up 
now that we have that we we can put a little bit of um, shade in in this side so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select that one uh, that is uh, on the on the left I'm going to put some border I'm going to give it I don't know something like a 12 will be fine let's go to layer and then span stroke so now is something different I'm going to choose this uh, the one on the right I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to select uh, sorry select just only that one and that one there and now you go to geometry intersect so we have those two uh, borders there I'm going to make them black okay and then what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to give them some gauche blur, Gaussian blur so let's move it something like this I think they will be fine uh, let me close that one and then let's move this one to the top so now that we have that as you can see we have some uh, some shade that is putting this one the one on the top uh, on the bottom so let me group everything group everything let's make the my usual background so I'm going to click that one create a rectangle there um sorry no border whatsoever and let me change the color of this such as something like this no um let me see that one is fine and what i'm going to do is a little bit something there and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this one and then uh, command or alt click and drag click and drag so we create three I'm going to opa sorry about that that one should be locked so you don't move it I'm going to select all of them let's go to alignment and I'm going to uh, distribute horizontally and then make sure that are all in line click OK and then let's move it to the center of the page Okay, I think that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you did, please remember to subscribe, to give the thumbs up, to hit the notification bell. And please, if you have any comment, any suggestions, something that you would like me to do or to create, just leave it in the comment section down below. Um, anyway, like always, thank you very much for watching and I'm seeing you in the next video.